Content warning. Ladies and gentlemen, the following podcast is not suitable for all audiences, and viewer slash listener discretion is advised. For example, if, when you just heard the term ladies and gentlemen, you immediately thought about how exclusionary it is, then it's probably best you turn this off now. Does a grizzly tata sound like a drag queen? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am grizzly tata. <laughs> <laughs> Shan Grizzly, Shanta, you stay. <laughs> <laughs> It's a podcast called Dead Men Talking. It's Rob Mulholland and a fat cunt. I love how you've gotten so bored of just introducing me yeah. now that you're making little jingles I've up. Gotta like mix it up a bit, innit? Yeah, you yeah. don't have to. You could always just be professional about it. But, okay, you know. all right, let's try again. Hello, welcome to Dead Men Talking with me, Rob Mulholland. I'm and Freddie Quinn. Freddie, Freddie, Freddie Quinn. A fat, Freddy fat cunt. Quinn. What a fat cunt. Speaking of fat cunts, we've, yeah, got, we've got a guest who's a fucking chubby bitch we've today. We've got Liam Pickford on. <laughs> yeah. He looks like a meat humper. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he yeah. is uh, one of the Norse finest scruffs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. he's perfect for this uh, podcast. Yeah, because he is absolute utter scum. I think you're a very fun episode. You're going to enjoy it a uh, lot. For those of you that are going to watch it on YouTube, I want to point out that Liam was wearing a denim jacket that was far too hot for him to wear, mm -hmm. but he didn't want to take it off because his T-shirt was too small. Yeah, and we'd see his little puffy nips. Little fat little puffy nipples. Yeah, so if you enjoy this episode, why not treat yourself to a Patreon membership? It's £3 a month. You get shitloads more content. And I won't think you're a cunt. Yeah, and also as well, you help support the podcast, which is yeah, really it is, it is our only source of income because uh, sponsors are hard to come by when you have a podcast where you show people maggoty cocks. Who'd have thought, yeah. apart from everybody, all the time ever? Yeah. It's three quid a month. Look, look at it this way, right? Would you notice three pound a month going out of your account? A lot of people, probably yes. Oh, fuck. You've got to remember the fucking sort of scum we're dealing oh, with here. Oh, fuck. Cotton. There's some fucking poor people. You're watching giving this. so much pissing money to your energy companies. We're asking for three yeah. fucking quid. Turn the lights off for a few days and pay us. Exactly. Literally, just have the morning without light. Yeah. Done. Pop a candle on Jesus. There you go. Yeah. And you've given it, you've sorted it out. Yeah. Three quid would literally, if enough, look, if everybody who listens to this podcast donated three quid, we'd literally be able to retire. We'd be able to move into a big new studio. And we studio, would stop doing this. And we, <laughs> no, I would, I would go full balls deep into, if yeah. everybody who listened to this gave three quid, then a tattoo on Rob Mulholland. Right, no, you don't get to decide for uh, me. I already have. Right. So, well, uh, I'm, doing, I'm doing one on you as well, then. Uh, oh, like that TV show? Yeah. Oh, um, okay. Yeah. I'd be up for that. Okay, enjoy your face swastika. <laughs> enjoy my what? Facial swastika. Are you joking? Just on your forehead swastika. Oh, man, I've already got one. <laughs> so, just a bit of foundation covering it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just what I've always wanted, another right. one. Anyway, shall we, shall we let them watch the episode? Yeah, enjoy. Right. By the magic of editing, you shall now see the episode. See Kyle! <laughs> Can you not see Kyle? Nope. Okay. It's just what my face wants me to do. <laughs> Liam Pickford! I, uh... You're all right. That was too too much energy yeah. for a Pickford introduction. It's horrible. Yeah. You, you, you do your own intro then in your own sardonic way. I've not come here to do your work for you. <laughs> why, for fuck's sake. Why have you come here? I don't know. You said come to Levenstein. I'm like, all right. Yeah. I'm, I'm lonely. <laughs> Sick of looking at me dog being disappointed with me. Yeah. Why are you crying again, Liam? And He's I got a Romanian dog that he's rescued off the streets who is the less sad one in his house. I didn't rescue... I, must, I didn't rescue myself. I didn't go well, yeah, there. I know. You didn't go with a net to Did Romania. Did you not? Just went there with a hammer, <laughs> stood outside a Get in the kill centre for four hours. You've not listened to this podcast before. I haven't listened to a podcast ever. You have yeah. come up uh, once. Uh, so, I'll oh, yeah. what, so I'll tell you what I'll what happened. It was the uh, Phil Ellis episode, and we were talking about how he got his car and uh, oh yeah this is a good yeah. story and i was like yeah. well no this isn't the, the way the story goes and i went oh how is uh liam and his lovely lady and they all went Boo, when, like that and yeah. i went Ooh, and they went okay. Ooh, and i went yeah. Ooh. it's all right though yeah, yeah it's I'm fine. fine i'm fine what i'm more and more annoyed about is that i gave him a car for free because i'm nice and he gave me fucking covid really what a deal he come down to bristol yeah. both made in china <laughs> <laughs> Do you reckon Kia was behind COVID? <laughs> <laughs>
I and just think they make drinks, don't they? That's Kiora. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah, yeah Jim. Oh. What a fat cunt. What a knobhead. <laughs> Immediately goes to a sugary drink. <laughs> Inter- he intravenously. Yeah. Let's wait until my dealer starts again with the umbongo. <laughs> what? <laughs> Cooking umbongo in a spoon. Where are you, uh, where are you living at the moment? Uh, Stockport. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's fucking horrible. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll take, I'll take, here's, here's a pre-prepared story. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're not fucking Conan. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, Liam, I uh, hear you've been doing a bit of driving lately. <laughs> <laughs> What's the story behind the jacket? Yeah. Well, I'm glad you've asked. So, Thank you. <laughs> basically, I saw a jacket. I thought, oh, I love that. And I bought it. Anyway, this story. Good story. This, this yeah. is the most stop put thing I've seen. So, I couldn't sleep. I was walking my dog, and there's this uh, this pond lake thing in a park near me. Yeah. It's about half five. I couldn't sleep. So, I'm walking door, and I've got like my jammers on and an overcoat. And there's a, there's a bloke fishing, and there's all these signs. And it's like, um, oh, you must have a permit to fish here. You know, that's how imagine how it sounds. Yeah. It's a, a personification of the story. Personification <laughs> of the story? Yeah. No, like, I'm, I want to bring it to life. Yeah. yeah. So. Okay. <laughs> He's auditioning for, you know, when, like, uh, Tom Hardy did those children's bedroom stories and all the mums got oh, wet? Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like, you know, mums who do crack need a version two. Yeah. I reckon there's some mums listening to this and the menopause has kicked in five years early. It's just gone, that's a defence mechanism. <laughs> Shut it down. That's what I do. They're sending me to Africa next week. Mm. Anyways, you do look a bit menopausal. <laughs> I feel it. <laughs> my, <laughs> my eggs are dry as fuck. <laughs> like them, them powdered ones you get in war. <laughs> I think you look like the brother of Rocky Dennis. Mm. Who's Rocky Dennis? You know the fucking. I think he looks like the hardest woman in the prison. <laughs> <laughs> like, like you run the kitchen and no one messes with you. And you look like the prison officer whose parents sent him to uni, and he did bad. Yeah. So he said, "Oh, I'll join the civil service." Yeah. Not thinking that prison officers are civil service, and now they make you bring like Game Boys in up your <laughs> bum. <laughs> What do you want? What do you want, Big Frank? Do you want a, uh, I'm really into retro fart? gaming. Yeah. <laughs> My only prison reference is porridge. <laughs> I you... don't think they had Game Boys in porridge. Those two things didn't overlap. No, they, when did they, were they made? Well, like Game Boys were made in like what late eighties, early nineties. Yeah. Where's porridge from? Sixties. Oh, no. No, it like, finished in the 70s. In the last episode, like, you can tell that it was definitely in the 70s. They go to Elland Road because it's, like, the most famous stadium in the country at that point. Wow, they're all yeah. wearing flares and stuff. Yeah. He's, been yeah. wa- he's been watching Porridge. I have been watching he's Porridge. I love edgy. Porridge. Like, mate, have you seen Porridge? Mate, it's banging. It's like kids finding uh, Kate Bush off TikTok. That'll be, like, the next thing, innit? I hate, seen this Porridge. I hate that. I've seen I die. Yeah. But, um... Sorry, I didn't mean to sidetrack your story. I've forgotten it now. So you were like, there's a guy fishing. There's yeah. a guy Sign fishing. No fishing. And the fishing like no, uh, no permit. So I'm there in overcoat with my dog, and we get further, like closer to him, and he goes, uh, looks round like that, and then turns back round like getting on with his fishing, and then uh, it turns round goes, uh, are you the permit man? And I'm like, there in my jammers and that, and I'm like, no, and then he picked up his rod and just threw it into the lake and ran away. <laughs> <laughs> After yeah. you said no. After I said that, no. like, uh, like, did he not? Like, it's typically what the permit man does. Yeah, yeah. like the run the cover. Lures you into a false sense yeah. of security. <laughs> and, then, and then when you confess your crimes, he goes, aha, I am yeah. the permit man. Julie, I'm off on a raid. Can you bring me the confidence dog? <laughs> like, do you reckon, like, does this guy, do you reckon they've got like a thing like American police where if you ask them if they are, they've got to say, <laughs> no, all right, you've got me there. I am the permit man. <laughs> That is a very paranoid guy. from far away. Fishing in the middle of... (laughs) What can I say? I say, don't fish there. (laughs) How How paranoid... Because I put on so much weight, that's what I sound when I walk now as well. (laughs) (laughs) You have put on a lot of weight, but you put it on all over your body. This is Freddy's theory, right? It doesn't matter how fat he is, as long as it's consistent. Yeah, exactly. It's uh, it's Quinn's theory of density. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> it's, you just as long as it gets evenly spread it don't matter I don't but, imagine if you woke up with just like one big leg <laughs> <laughs> or if Freddie's fingers stayed exactly as fat but the rest of him got skinny just had a little chipolata fingers on it but like everything everywhere all at once them's my finger in finger <laughs> oh he's got an elbow it looks like a bum it's horrible <laughs> they wear like one long sleeve yeah. it's, uh, it's, hard, it's hard finding clothes that fit when you're dead fat isn't it I mean, yeah, it is definitely. Are you making light of the fact none of my clothes fit me? No, it's uh, because we're quite hot in here and you are choosing to wear a denim jacket because you said your T-shirt didn't fit. 
Yeah, it doesn't. I want to get it off so I can see some nip. I want to see some titties. It's not nip. You'll just get see. Get your titties out. Get some titties out. Come on, show us them titties. Show, show, no, show us them titties. Show us titties. Not this titties. is why no women come on this program. <laughs> I've got two men with beards in yeah. a brightly lit room with a camera. Yeah, several I mean, cameras. I've drunk that water now. Yeah. <laughs> I know. So we've got about half an hour before you go out. <laughs> That's how long it took the elephant, anyway. <laughs> See, they usually call That's me what I fat. call him, yeah. 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 No, I'm still calling you fat, don't worry. Oh, come on, look, he's there. He's not there. I still think you're fatter. Yeah. You're more of a fat cunt. You've just got a fat cunt vibe. You, you know I, what I mean? See, I lost weight, so I proved I can do it, whereas you've yeah. remained the same. Like, you know, he actually will go for a run. Do you know what I mean about you having more of a fat cunt vibe? Okay, I think that I have more of a hard cunt vibe. <sighs> I like think you a, look like an extra from CAD file. No one. I don't know what CAD file is. So, so can you? What you know? I know what CAD he file does. Is. Fucking Polly Porridge over here. He knows what CAD, <laughs> CAD file is. He was a detective monk, yeah. just like a nosy medieval monk. Yeah. That sounds great. Yeah. He was a bit see, Derek. I don't know. I can't remember. Chisora. Right, thanks. It, it was Derek, Derek Chisora. Chisora yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was very pioneering for the time. When he caught people, he'd just knock them the fuck <laughs> out. If he said, "Oh, what, what's happening? Has somebody been?" Uh, de- <laughs> Deviating from ecclesiastical doctrine. <laughs> <laughs> then he's just fucking floored Just twat him, yeah. Uh, speaking of twatting, yeah. I want you to get up the uh, thing that I've sent you, the picture. Okay. Uh, so I found this today, and it was posted on our Dead Men Talking uh, Twitter account, at Dead Men Talk Pod. And I thought Look it would be... Look at snuck in. Uh, thank you, professional mm. broadcaster. <laughs> <laughs> like Tony Blackman. This is six percent uh, of Americans think they could beat a grizzly bear in a fight, which yeah. is fine because six uh, percent of Americans are retards, and we all knew that. Only six. And yeah. you just zoom it in a minute. I can't analyze. You can press. You can press. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, so there's a list of animals here, and I want you to know. I want you to tell me which ones you think that you'd feel comfortable about twatting or bobbing. I mean, they're very different things. <laughs> yeah, I mean, not in Leeds. But <laughs> everywhere else, yeah. a I kiss could, is I as good as a knife. Yeah. So what can I beat up? Yeah, yeah you'd, you'd have a rat, wouldn't you? You'd, you'd twat a rat. I reckon I'd volley it. Yeah, you just you, kick a rat. You'd do you kick know what? Rat, do you know what I think is absolutely mental is that there are twenty one percent of thirty one percent of pe- twenty one. There's thirty odd percent of people who are looking at a house cat and going, that could have me. Yeah, no, I'll tell you what, I'll do what you say. What I, yeah. like, what I like best of all is they've thought, we'll pick the three pictures of the ones that are probably of most visual interest. Yeah. So the kangaroo, yeah. they've got that there. Clear boxing match. And I like the way that kangaroo's surprised. Yeah, that goose is <laughs> fucking that guy up. So so there is... There is <laughs> that there, guy is getting his ass kicked by that you, goose. So the kangaroo thing is from a viral video where yeah. the guy's dog goes after the kangaroo. Yeah, right. he just goes, squares and, up to it. And he squares up to it and proper chins it. And the, the kangaroo is fucking ripped. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> they are that shredded. kangaroo's got a pure gym membership. <laughs> He's <laughs> fucking ripped. And the kangaroo just takes it on the chin. This has turned into a beast Joe Rogan. <laughs> and looks at him. That's what his mum's called. <laughs> and... <laughs> thinks about fucking him up for a minute and then just leaves him be. Yeah. Do you think that you... But, like, if they were, like, cornered, though, so, like, in this, like, it's not like you can't scare it off because that's different. No, you're in a ring. You're in a cage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, the kangaroo's winning, then. I don't care who you are. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The kangaroo's, kangaroo's fucking definitely up. winning. I think, I think anything from... So, so I don't know why chimpanzee is ahead of King Cobra. I think <laughs> that you might be able no, to... No, chimpanzees would fuck you yeah, up. that's They're what evil. I mean. They're but like King bad. Cobra will also just kill you. Do you know chimpanzees are uh, the only... So, so every uh, zoo has a shoot-on-sight list, right. right? Where if the animal gets free, yeah. you've just got to shoot You've got to make it. a porno with it. <laughs> <laughs> Just on site immediately. <laughs> Chimps versus gimps yeah. too. Right, just like <laughs> the baboon has escaped. Like, oh. <laughs> That's why their arses are red. Just a really, a really jaded man in khaki. Yeah, just like blood uh, mullet again. But, but he's just, just like he's just dead behind the eyes. He's done it too many times. His neck's a Viagra. <laughs> rubs, rubs some numbing gel on his dick so he can go yeah. for hours. That's why Chimps are always going. <laughs> 
It's a man's cock being thrust into their anuses. That sounded racist. It did, yeah. Me. Oh, if you want to hear something racist, just hold on. Freddie will, <laughs> Fre- Freddie will provide it shortly. Yeah, I don't want to. Okay, to well, color. you're in the wrong place. Oh. <laughs> but like, uh, yeah, I think anything... Like, a large dog is fucking you up. An eagle's well, fucking you up. I think it depends what a uh, large dog it is. Uh, We're because talking like... If it's a, if, if it's We're a, talking like Rottweiler. Uh, if it's a Belgian Malinois that has been trained by the police to fucking kill you... I think then... I had one of them on me knob. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a Malinois. But <laughs> imagine him on his baking channel. <laughs> Today, we're going to make a Belgian Malinois. He couldn't have a baking but channel. Then, He'd eat all the ingredients he, he, before he cooked them. <laughs> <laughs> what? Just, just come to his bacon. <laughs> He's just got flour all over his face. It's like, I'm sorry, I've done it again. There won't be a video this week. He, he, is, he is what I've eaten earlier. And it's just your own shit in a bowl to the camera. He's as trying, you cry. To, trying to do a mukbang, but he can never get the camera on. He just can't. He, he can't take that 10 seconds without eating the pizza. Um, I would say. <laughs> It's funny because you're fat. I just seen one of them little hats as well. Little chef's hat. He's got the proper... Sh- he's got all the attire again. <laughs> this is the week. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> what are we making? We're making bricks in concrete sauce. Oh, finally. <laughs> 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 Fucking fatter to <laughs> <laughs> but you make rat every week. That would be fantastic. Uh, rat, you could fuck up. Yeah. There's no way you're not fucking up a rat. You'd have to be heavily disabled to lose to a rat. <laughs> you would. <laughs> like, I'd fancy Jack Carroll to twat a rat. He's... <laughs> Depends what is he like. Hit it with the, his walker, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it says here, which of the following animals, if anything, do you think you could beat in a fight if you were unarmed? Yeah, yeah, mm. that's important. It, like if you were unarmed. Oh right, but he's not unarmed. He needs that to stand up. That's not a weapon. If he took his arms off, that'd be cruel. Yeah. Um, house cat, you could twat. Yeah. Goose, you should be able to beat. Yeah, it's going to be not fun, but you should be able to win in the end. In a fight a, to the death. In a you life or win. death situation against yeah. a goose. What, like, what kind of goose though? What do you mean? What kind of goose? Because I had a goose stopped me getting to work once. <laughs> <laughs> what was it a ticket inspector on the tram no it's no, part of extinction I, rebellion I can't tell change in Saturday <laughs> 25 stop eating me I'm not going to I'm what not... do we want ha <laughs> <laughs> again a bit racist I don't know who to <laughs> so it was a Canada goose not a Chinese right. goose and it stopped it was... how could you tell is it the eyes <laughs> ask me if I like wood <laughs> And I said no, then it got shit. <laughs> don't, don't you talk over that. Ah, <laughs> oh, this goose isn't very good at driving. <laughs> Tell you what, I ate that goose, then half an hour later I was starving. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen a goose with an abacus before. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, it smashed its GCSEs. <laughs> smashed them. Yeah, it took them to... to, to <laughs> spasticus, 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 autista goose. <laughs> so, a Canada goose stopped you from going to work once. Yeah. Where was I? it? Was yeah. it just someone in a Canada goose jacket? Was it Was it that? No, it wasn't. A, no, it was, I know the difference between a jacket and a bird. Let's <laughs> think. <laughs> Oh, no, right. it's just on the canal. I know, like, yeah. I approached it. They are quite aggressive, the ones in Manchester. They it's, will just stand in the, the road si- and just look at you like, what? It's the psychological aspect yeah. that this this graph hasn't taken. Yeah. But again, account. you're in a fight to the death, so you've got no choice. You've got to just go in in this situation. I think you go for its neck. You try and get Yeah, yeah, that's the obvious place. Yeah, Chinese it's, burn its, it's neck, innit? Well, look, at the end of the day, a goose is only going to attack you with its fucking beak. Yeah. It's not going to... Maybe a bit of feet it's, slapping. Yeah, but it's not going to hook you with a wing, is it? Yeah. Like, 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 So you know you're only going to get attacked one way. I think just run up and boot it right in its chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be sad, though, like, if a goose didn't feel good about itself and, like, got someone to put knuckle dusters on its wings, but that rendered it powerless. Yeah, he just couldn't lift him. <laughs> Hoisted Again, by my own petard. The, the animal is also unarmed, I think, in this. Uh, medium, <laughs> medium-sized dog. That's like my dog. And look, and if he, he's fighty and hard, but in a fight to the death, I reckon I'd win. Yeah, you'd, you'd rip his fucking throat out. But like, it would be... I, 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 if well, it was so my dog, I wouldn't be able to a medium do that. Si- a, a medium-sized dog's like a Labrador, I'd say. Labrador, Mine's staffy. a medium-sized dog, isn't it? But, yeah, but the thing medium. is, it d- depends what dog. Because yeah. a Labrador, you'd fuck up all day long. Because mm. you'd punch a Labrador in the face and it'd go, 
Nice one, mate. Again, Staffy or... is slightly different. Well, their bite is so strong. Like, yeah. Their jaws are dead strong. But I think that you could fuck them up. Cause... Eventually, yeah. They're not that agile. You could do a medium-sized I dog. have seen loads of Staffies that have been beaten within an inch of their lives by their trainers. I've not seen many maybe, trainers maybe that have been beaten this. within the inch of their lives by their Staffies. Just Google it. There's loads of kids who got eaten by them. Kids, yeah. exactly. Oh, yeah. If you're a five-year-old, yeah. uh, Staffies having you for breakfast. Yeah. Although, you know, they are they used, they used to be known as nanny dogs because they're very good with children if you don't abuse them their whole life. Really? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Fancy there that. you go. A little fact about staffies for you. Doesn't I all have to be nasty. It's, it's nice to learn something here. Exactly. I think I would back myself against an eagle. No, shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> the eagle's fucking... How do you fight an eagle for a right, start? Right, okay, so it's going to come down to me. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's going to take a load of skin off your head. No, no, no. That right. woman on the sca- staircase got killed by an owl, right. let alone an eagle. Yeah, an eagle would fuck you up. An eagle no, no, no. Fuck you so up. Take your tiny little eyes out. No, so yeah. what happened is it had come <laughs> down. Out. It had come down. Peck your eyes like out. Like this, right? It had come down for me. I grab it by the feet, and then I just smash it against the fucking wall like that repeatedly. It's fucked. Once you've got <laughs> the eagle, it's fucked. Because the only way that it's going to hurt you is with its claws. Once you've grabbed hold of it, it's done. You're not grabbing no, it, though. You're, you're making not. that sound easy. It's not easy they to fly, grab. They, they're like bare fast, aren't they? They, they will yeah. fly. And I don't, like, best one, the, I do, I like you and I respect you as a human being. I don't, either of those things. But <laughs> it'd be like like you. Uh, what are you showing here? You're just getting a big eagle up. This is a... <laughs> a big eagle? The yeah. world's largest eagle. The world's largest you just, eagle. You... I'm not fighting the world's biggest eagle. I'm yeah, just fighting an are. eagle. You don't get to decide that which thing that, there. You could beat that, that up. That weak little I fucking. I could beat that up. It's a nerd. Nah, that thing looks angry. No, it doesn't. It looks like a fucking background wallpaper. It'll fuck you up. We need something next to it for scale. This is the problem with this. They're showing photos. I wanted, I wanted to see it in action. Uh, well, you see one of, one of its earlier fights? This, yeah. here's, here's a question. If yeah. you nick someone's phone and you saw that their background was an eagle, would you give them the phone back because you're worried they'd be lonely? <laughs> <laughs> it's I'd not find, a good sign. I'd find them. <laughs> so here you go, mate. <laughs> Have your wank device back? <laughs> that is the problem when someone hands you your phone. It's like, yeah. Have you? Have uh, you? Right, I think on. large, large dog. Uh, it depends what large dog. Yeah, uh, Vizslas are fast. You won't catch a Vizsla. Well, a Vizsla's mm-hmm. a medium-sized dog as opposed to a large-sized dog, I'd say. All right. Well, They're not much bigger than uh, I didn't Labradors. Think, I didn't think we'd go on one of our dog measuring weekends. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go down to the partner <laughs> with a tape measure and a syringe. Here we go. Top five best eagle attacks <clears throat> on humans. This is what we want. Best? Yeah. I don't know how we're <laughs> surely, measuring surely best. Not on that trail. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. It's a little child. Here we go. <laughs> right, okay. Number five. Number five. Right. That's not an eagle. That's, that's a fucking parrot. Show me video. Why is this not video? Oh, here, oh, here we, we go. go. Here, here we go. go. Here we go. Let's so that's see. a parrot. This not, is like a fucking cockatoo not, or some not shit. Not even an eagle. I'm going to number one. Right. No, no, no. Just just right. carry on watching it. Okay. Just carry on watching Uh-oh. it. Here Uh-oh. it comes. Here oh. it comes. Oh. Oh. Eagle attack. This is what you're getting. Oh, that look. But <laughs> right now she's in pain. If she didn't have that fucking cockatoo on her arm. I think that's a man. Is I think, it? like, well, it's a, it's a bird handler, so if it was male, they would have a ponytail. Yeah, that is true. Also, look, uh, you could fuck that up, right? Number four. Right, let's have a look. He here. just got hurt. Then he didn't get fucking maimed. Yeah, but that that bird wasn't necessarily trying to kill. He's wearing a helmet. This guy. Yeah. Oh, he just pecked him on the yeah, head. That's a tiny little bit. That's not yeah, fucking. Yeah, but hasn't eagle. he got meat glued to it? Here we go. Ah. This one looks better. Here we go. Ah! Number one. This is the. This is supposedly their best one. Although I'm, I'm not trusting this video to be honest with you. Like, ah, they're getting attacked. That would fuck you up. Look oh, at this guy. Wow. <laughs> this guy. He's taking his whole face. He's ripped well, his face off. I tell you what, though, body absolutely fine. Have they just got photos of it? Oh, <laughs> what the fuck is happening here? This video is not good. Right. There you go. Thank you for watching. Do You're welcome, eagle attacks. I want to see the five worst. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I don't think you can have an eagle anyway. I, I think could it's too fast. Eagle. Nah, nah. I think I could. Because nah. once it's gone on you, I just have to grab hold of it, smash, smash, smash. Done. You make it sound simple. It is. I like that guy who fucked up a pigeon by doing that. It's not uh, the same thing. Oh, there's this like good, I've got another st- that guy in Plymouth. Yeah. This is a, a news story from the southwest. Uh, he was put. He was in court um, for attacking a man with a seagull. Have you seen that? That's well, the, be- the best part of the story was when they went, the man who was brandishing the seagull. 
like a weapon. <laughs> like brandishing. As a yeah. Not just like flapping it about. Stay I, back! Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had a bit... Oh, he's got him! <laughs> and he's trained to fucking kill, so he is. Yeah. I had a bit on my, my last special about a guy <laughs> smashing a seagull against the rock. He grabbed it by the legs and smashed it against the rocks. It nicked his chips. And like, in I'm, front I'm, of children, just smashed it so on rock you know, over and over well, again. they have to learn, don't they? Well, this is it. I was bang on his side. Where is it what? that people can watch your last special? On YouTube. Ah, nobody cares. YouTube. Right, so let's carry on. Um, uh, I think about 50,000 people care, thank you. Oh. A lot of them have unliked it. but um, <laughs> <laughs> Unliked it. So they've liked it, yeah, and then they've gone awful. Nah, thought thought Imagine it. having that amount of time. Yeah. Just you come see my. Oh, I actually don't like it anymore. Dislike a large <laughs> a large dog. I think is debatable depending on the dog. Yeah, I because think if we're talking a properly large dog, no chance. An old Saint Bernard. Yeah, it's fine. Saint Bernard. Yeah, he's Bernard. Are yeah. you no, Bernard? I've, no, no. My uh, friend's one is a Saint Bernard called Bernard. Right. Yeah. But that doesn't make, that doesn't change the name of the species. No, no, no. But uh, my dog isn't called a Bernie Mac. No, but I uh, I called it an old saint, and I assumed that we all got there. And then I put his name, Bernard. Uh, maybe they thought you were doing like a sort of Victorian homophobic slur. Yeah. Your that, dog's an old saint. Yeah. Is How that, dare you? No, it's it not. It sounds like it, though, doesn't it? Yeah. It does. It's a bit of an old be. saint. Yeah. <laughs> He's a friend of Bernard. <laughs> <laughs> He's a barrel carrier. Yeah. Uh, That's one of the things that we lost when we made homosexuality legal, is... Polare. All of the... Uh, all is, that, of, is that what you're upset about, the loss of Polare? Is that what it is? That was the name for the gay language, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, it is yeah. it is a loss, isn't it? Yeah, probably to old gay men, sure, but not you. Yeah, I know, but I... You've think not lost that, any of that culture. Yeah, but I, think I mean, you were never going around going, there's a bloody molly jegging. Yeah. <laughs> well, teasing your rough. Yeah. <laughs> Sucking someone off in a public toilet. There's that bit as well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, there, anything below there, though, it's no chance. Chimpanzee, no chance. I think a King Cobra. I'd, no, I'd... King Cobra got Is no it, chance. What's she called? The woman... Uh, who had a face eaten off by Travis. Oh, yeah. yeah. That is... Oh, that's and she bad, was isn't it? On, she's the great Doug Stanhope a bit about it. She's on... Uh, Oprah. Oprah, and Oprah yeah. lifts her face, and there just isn't a face. Yeah. No, it's like... Chimpanzees it's like, are, like, crazy strong. looks strobe. like the back of Vincent Company's head. They're also, like, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. Is that the back of Vincent Company? <laughs> you know what they say? Misery loves company. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm glad we wrote that before. Yeah, we just started this. <laughs> We're spending that the whole the podcast pre- to try and get round to that. That was the pre-prepared bit. Yeah, that was yeah, it. Yeah, we had it all. Yeah. Well, thank them writers we've got chained in the shed. <laughs> cheers, <laughs> cheers, Conan. <laughs> What, you said the writer we got chained up is Conan O'Brien. <laughs> We've gone high calibre, haven't we? No, Conan the Barbarian. Right. <laughs> He's very very hard to chain. Of all the men. Yeah. Well, I mean, I like to think that he wants to do the job. He's, yeah. he's there because he wants to be. <laughs> but, not, like, uh, a King Cobra is definitely killing you. Definitely. I think... You yeah, can't they're wily, be, aren't they? Yeah, That's and the they're... Point. Re- like, how do you fucking hurt it? It's all spine. The only thing you can do is like, you know, those ropes at the gym. <laughs> like whipping it like that. Although, who am I talking to? The gym is a place that Off. people go to exercise. Uh, um, kangaroos are no. Wolf is definitely no. Definitely no. no. 12% of people, that's like, what, one in eight? I know, that's insane. They don't understand how hard a wolf is. Like, they just don't understand how much stronger they're, they're a dog is. They're fucking they're, they're like 10 times as strong as a dog. Like, they're crazy. Yeah, but also as well, like, whereas some dog breeds are like... Oh hello! Yeah, I'm yeah. a bit big, but I'm pretty soft. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Every wolf is. They're I'm killing machines. Fuck you to death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, crocodile nine. No, no. They've got their own armor. Yeah, like even, even if you can like grab its snoot and stop it killing you, you can't do anything to it. Why is, you can't damage it? Why is elephant on this list? Who eight percent of people think they could barehanded <laughs> beat up an elephant? What? How? Could you possibly How? do to an elephant? Give it a dead leg? <laughs> Not show it a mouse. And then it's scared. You're then unarmed. You put... That's a weapon. A ma- <laughs> you can't wield a mouse like a weapon. He's in Leeds. No. <laughs> it's just the comeback for everything. <laughs> He's in Leeds. Uh, no, yeah. but it, no, a mouse is not a weapon. If you've got a mouse... No, you can't have a mouse. You can't have anything. You, you're fully naked. It doesn't... That's not in there. That's, that is part of it. So that's you whip the... it with your knob. <laughs> Want what? it to die, not laugh. That's like... my tactic with an elephant. I'm going to try and seduce it. <laughs> 
And then once it's come and it falls asleep, <laughs> then I'll start. Well, like on. the bit out of Grimsby <laughs> yeah. where they climb into. I haven't into, seen that. I think it made me very angry. They climb into an elephant's uh, vagina to hide from right. assailants. Yeah. Highbrow work from that Oxbridge graduate, isn't it? I mean, why is that? Uh, why would it make you angry? Is it because you... it's an Oxbridge guy doing a oh look at the poor people film? It pisses me off. Yeah, because we've always climbed into elephants' vaginas. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> what with the cost of living? Only where we keep warm these days. It's yeah. either that or put a jumper on. Remember when we were young, I had to climb into the yeah. uterus of an elephant. Yeah. <laughs> Don't put the boiler on, not yet. Climb into elephant vag. It's like bloody Blackpool illuminations <laughs> in here. If you want it to be dark, get into elephant. <laughs> Elephant. <laughs> if you want it to be that, yeah. this is daylight savings time. Yeah. Can't bloody sleep. Good job I've got this elephant's fanny to climb it. <laughs> but I'm like, all of these are insane. Anything below, I think anything below large dog is insane. Like I genuinely yeah, yeah, yeah. do. Yeah, King yeah, cobras yeah. are like crazy poisonous and will crush you. Like crush you. Yeah. Oh, they're massive. Don't they do? Oh, that's boa constrictors. But yeah, I think yeah, they can yeah. do that anyway. I think they're going to be strong enough. A king cobra is fucking huge. Grizzly like, bears because of the revenant in it. Was this made? Oh yeah. Of, the thing about the revenant, I don't know if this is dummy head in. It's just come to mind now. You know they're always eating raw meat, right? But they always got fire on. Yeah, just fucking put it on a knife and hold over in it. Stop eating yeah. raw meat. Five maybe, minutes. Maybe they're just into um, tartar. <laughs> just want grizzly tartar. <laughs> Tom Hardy there. Yeah. Uh, white wine vinegar. I've made I've made a ceviche a polar bear. <laughs> Doesn't grizzly tartar sound like a drag queen? Yeah. <laughs> I am grizzly tartar. <laughs> Sh- grizzly Shanta, you stay. <laughs> I'm just so happy RuPaul kept me, and I got so much to offer in the competition. Don't no, talk like that. I reckon. <laughs> yeah. Full on grizzly tartar. <laughs> Do you want to see me fit funny? <laughs> oh, it's gone there now. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it'd be him first, but... <laughs> no, got no problem with him. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I was meaning the drag queen put a rubber one on to look convincing. Sorry, that's me That's yeah. me trying to, like... Yeah. I oh, know, we're not getting, like... Don't worry, this this is... I didn't... I didn't... We are a neutral zone in the, col- in the culture war, don't worry. Yeah, we don't care. Yeah, just couldn't give a fuck. Is that no, why it's... you've got the bisexual flag as you... Yeah, exactly, it's our lighting, yeah, yeah. Lighting. Keeping it by, mate. That's yeah. Keeping it by? <laughs> Keeping it by. Well, Freddie, in the last episode, came out as pansexual. Yes. Yeah. Well, because uh... he can't stay away from pans. <laughs> that's, that is exactly it, yeah. Is that it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't joke. watch it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We recorded it an hour ago. There's no way you oh, could have done. Sorry. You'll have to release this like way into the future. Yeah, yeah to make you look dead weird. People have forgot. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, which one of these do you think you could bum? Uh, I'd say everything below medium-sized dog, I'd, including. I'd, I think that's you can't bum an eagle. You can't bum an eagle. No. no imagine, I'm imagine pretty, tal- talons on your balls. Yeah. Pretty sure it's treason to America as well. <laughs> Well, that's more reason to do it, isn't it? Imagine if Al Qaeda did that. that. Instead of blowing up the World Trade Centre, <laughs> just bombed an eagle. Dry bombed an eagle. <laughs> Take that, Bush. <laughs> Al Iraq bar. Fuck yeah. That's not how they use that phrase. You are? They don't just sit in the middle of doing stuff like, Al Iraq bar, on you go. <laughs> they absolutely do. Okay. Yeah, I've, they don't do it around you. Freddie know, they... knows that because he stands outside mosques with, with an ear horn. <laughs> they don't do it around you because they don't consider you a friend, but with right. me. Whereas you're a friend to the sleeper cell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You know. You just like that because it sounds like they're not doing anything. <laughs> oh, can I join your sleeper cell so I can come lie down? <laughs> I, th- I thought it was going to be some sort of nap group. <laughs> Turning up in your PJs to the yeah. first meeting of your sleeper cell. And as it turned out, I wasn't the only one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that won't be allowed. <laughs> well, unfortunately, it will be because it's us who's in charge. There's no, there's no one in charge here. I'm because... against censorship, but there's a lot to be said for self censorship. <laughs> Uh, I would agree, but we're too far in now. Yeah. Do you know what? N- touch wood, nobody has called us out on anything yet. Yeah. And my God, there's been a lot. It's going to really store up that's until... very good that you've cultivated a f- fan base of cowards. 
<laughs> no, <laughs> just scumbags. Right. Like, they're all really... Like, everyone I've met from our fan base is really lovely, but they're all stinky, monster energy drinking weirdos. Yeah. You know what right. I mean? Well, you know, yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, they're great. There's room now. But yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 In their <laughs> mum's basements where they all live. <laughs> Basically, our fan base, if you go onto the incel subreddit. <laughs> I just love having a go at the people who are nice enough to watch. Like yeah, the they month, pay three pounds a month. Yeah, I know. They the can fuck ba- it off. Basement where they've got a train train set, but they buy Barbies, so the trains run them all over. They're those sort of people. Yeah. Patreon is a platform where you can give us money for this bullshit that we do. Yeah, let's go with that for a start. Yeah. yeah, other podcasts have actual people that make the jingles, but we just do it ourselves. I'm just going to riff it, mate. Yeah, other, other podcasts aren't as talented as us. You know, <laughs> so I think that's what well, it that's is. one way of putting it, isn't yeah, it? it is. Uh, if you're enjoying Dead Men Talking, then mm. sign up to our Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash Dead Men Talk Pod. And for three quid a month, what do you get, Rob? <laughs> oh, a lifetime of trauma. Uh, you get an extra episode every single week from ourselves. That's yeah. extra content. You get access to all the extra footage that we make, all of the live show recording so when we do the live show roasts we get them recorded yeah. and if you watch the if you like watch uh, the podcast uh, visually or even if you're listening to it you can't see the videos that we're watching it because you know YouTube won't let us like if we put any one of the videos we show people on this we would be banned from YouTube within 10 seconds so the only way to see them is if you join our Patreon so join our Patreon and then you join the Discord server you link the two together there's a little button yeah. you link it to and then you can get into our secret members only area where we will show you some of the most traumatic things you've ever seen. There's absolutely loads of good reasons to join the Patreon, but probably the best of all is that you help safeguard uh, the podcast and the future of it because <laughs> it's the only way that we can make income and we have to pay for editors and, you know, there's lots of costs associated with yeah, this. Yeah, the lawsuits. The lawsuits. The non-disclosure agreements. The non-disclosure agreements. Mm-hmm. The super injunctions. The super injunctions, they all yeah. add up. Yeah. And, and you don't get as much for uh, ransoms as you'd think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it depends who you kidnap. I know, but the ones we've got, uh, no Sh- one's asked. Shannon Matthews. Yeah. She's gone down in value. Mm. She's like, People don't believe she's gone. <laughs> she's, she's like a cryptocurrency. Yeah. So, uh, sign up to us with actual money. We don't take cryptocurrency. We're not nonsense. Hidden, hidden in a draw coin. Yeah. Keep, keep your fucking... <laughs> Dog coins and fucking hot dog fucking NFTs to yourself. We want actual money, please. Three pounds. Well, they are into trains. Oh, yeah. Are you into trains, Liam? No. Are you not at all? Well, do you want to meet a man who's very, very, very much into trains? Yeah. yeah. I think you're going to enjoy this, Liam. I think you're going to enjoy this a lot. This is, oh, he um, doesn't... Oh, is he going to put it up his bum? No, this no, is a on. friend of the podcast. This is this is one of the all-time greats of our podcast. It is uh, a Hall of Famer. Yeah, this is uh, a little legend we like to call... Well, and he likes to call himself Choo Choo Steve. Back in the What? I think it's very upsetting. <laughs> That's harrowing. Yeah. Yeah. Choo choo, Steve. Uh, later. How many times have you come? I don't know. <laughs> He does run on time, though. He <laughs> does. It's like Mussolini. Mussolini, if you will. <laughs> the weekend is re- replacement bus service, Steve. <laughs> it's just that, but slower. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Adjusted timetable, Steve. Call me Beep Beep, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> and even though you've got a ticket for him, you can only come on the 1024. <laughs> Advanced single, Steve. What are you up to nowadays? Because you moved back here. What's what? What job are you doing? Well, clearly not one that pays enough. Because I'm in this room watching that. <laughs> Don't soundtrack my job. What are you? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Fred. He's being rude. Yeah. What are you up to? Uh, just the same as I've always been. Like muddling. I got uh, just gigging and not doing content and doing other people's content. 
for yeah. them. Thank you. Not Thank for you. you. I've done nothing. I've contributed nothing. <laughs> I've been the worst guest anyone's ever had. Just sat here looking bemused and not want it like a man who don't want to admit he's deaf. <laughs> just, you know, just joining in <laughs> at various points. Like, oh, something vaguely <laughs> unkind. <laughs> and then I could, uh, that's mainly what I've been doing. Is there, is there anything in particular that you find like particularly disgusting? Anything that you're like, ah, oh, I can't watch that. Anything? What's your kryptonite? So? Yeah, beans. Beans. I can't be doing. Really, he's a he's a my bean God. Mong as well. We've got something. We've got something wow. in common here. Finally, after all these years. After all these years. <laughs> I can't be rank, can't they? They're disgusting. Baked beans. They stink. It yeah. look like an adolescent boy's <laughs> face, or like a bad it's, cock disease. It's the the sauce and the beaniness oh, together. No. Oh, it, it's like membrane-y. It is. It's like mm. the. Can, it's almost like you, I don't want to be anything near anything. As I get older, it's my new rule. I don't want to be near anything that cakes. What? <laughs> and they look like they're about to cake. You know, congeal together yeah, into yeah, like yeah, one yeah, yeah. sort of hybrid mass of evil, yeah. and they smell like bum. Yeah. They're rank. really, really nice. I really like beans. Well, they, they, that's all they had in the orphanage, though, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> just <laughs> just your got there, and the master would be there in his hat, and just pour one tin down the bean shoe <laughs> while she ate like little, little pigs. <laughs> What's this? Is this a mom? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I ate stuff like this. Oh, no. I no. ate stuff like this. Bean baths. Yeah. Look at him as well. Look at <laughs> Oh, it's so... That's in it. What what sound is Oh that oh, is uh, that's so that's horrible. so horrible. Uh, Mr and Mrs. Barlow took uh bean bath to raise much needed funds for sick and injured related. pets. Sick and injured pets, that's a shit charity. Well, as cats well. go in yeah. like it's there like on its little cat deathbed. Yeah. With so the house cats are fucked up. <laughs> fighting to prove a point. Just picking them up and headbutting them. Uh, Imagine headbutting a cat. <laughs> Fuck off. Like a war vet that's run out of drugs. <laughs> Sorry, Tiddles isn't going to make it. We're going to have to put him down. All right, make it kind. <laughs> oh, hang on a minute, there's a new treatment. If only someone could raise money by <laughs> staying the in a bath of beans. The only way to kill this cat is that you submerge yourself in beans and then I won't have to headbutt it to death. Um. Margaret, contact Heinz. <laughs> I feel a promotional opportunity coming on. Uh, do you want to see something mad where someone doesn't die? It's they don't die. They defo don't die. They defo, well, I've seen I've seen a picture. They're not in a good way. Okay, but they don't die. That'll do. Yeah, yeah, yeah all right. Be uplifting, won't it? Yeah, this this is. I don't know on, a, on a scale of one to winning Britain's Got Talent, how bad are they now? Uh, well, like have a little look. Re oh, so they're like, a, they they would immediately be given the title without having. Can to I see. just can I just say these are two Deliveroo drivers? Yeah, who I. Fucking hate yeah. the amount of putting their fucking life into their own hands. Fuck's sake, unprofessional. Sorry, <laughs> the amount of putting their life into their own yeah. hands that they do. Well, I, I will say it's not them who's at risk in this video. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Here so they're, they're riding on the pavement near some bollards. Yeah. Watch, I have a funny what I would feeling. say is watch the bollards. Okay. Go on. <laughs> Fucking hell. the fuck? <gasps> Has he impaled himself? So that's a man <laughs> who falls from out of nowhere yeah. onto a bollard, literally onto the bollard. And it goes right up his ass. It literally kebab skewers him. Yeah. Is, and he says he's still alive. Well, we got sent a little photo afterwards because, like, the person who sent this went, "They're definitely not dead." Here's proof. So they, they sent they sent us a photo Jesus. afterwards. He's not great. You can see the pole coming out of his shoulder. Fucking hell. Yeah, but he is alive. He did survive. Would you want to? No, I think <laughs> once I've been raped by a bollard at that velocity. I think just leave me to die. I like the way that the velocity for you is important. It is. The if first bit's bad, but the velocity yeah. is the... Having one of those ballads is never going to be great up your ass. <laughs> but if you do it slowly, you could ease it in. Is it a suicide attempt gone wrong? I have no idea. We have no context for this. We should get him on. Yeah. <laughs> if anyone knows who he is, he's invited. We'll give you a little pile cushion to sit on. He goes oh. to skills now to do uh, warning talks for children, and he's painted a little smiley face. <laughs> 
on his shoulder stump. <laughs> Do you reckon he's going to get another one that's got an angry face on the other shoulder? Now, now we are meeting uh, my friend uh, Jump the Lump. And he's, and he's like got cut a little hole in because he's all the nerves. <laughs> are gone, and he talks. Yeah. <laughs> what, what does he say? Don't fall on a ballard. <laughs> That's what he says. <laughs> Should have touched the ballard. <laughs> Should have touched the ballard. Do you want to, right, I'll do a little fun one that isn't like horrible and gory because like, that one is gnarly, isn't it? That's, like, that's what Whereabouts is it? I mean, look at it's the fr- it, I think it's French from the way they would like because people on the CCTV are going, <laughs> ooh la la. Just did the accent. Oh, I thought you And you just thought I was ill. <laughs> So I think is, Liam's had a stroke. The thing is, is I've been around you enough to know that you go on non sequiturs. Yeah. And Which I is just a French word. Assume yeah, it is, yeah. exactly. A non sequitur. <laughs> that's what I assume that you were right. doing. It's nice to know that it was in, within context. No, I actually tried. Right. Well, we'll, we'll thanks, we'll, mate. We'll bring it back more local. <laughs> Tell that's the people of Blackpool. <laughs> they deserve he, nothing. We did a gig. Yeah. Um, oh. About I would say what about four weeks ago. Yeah, something like that. Uh, in Blackpool. Now, the, the Saturday was dead nice. Yeah, it's lovely. But the, the Friday was 70-odd people, half of which were stagging hens. Right. And they were just like, they yeah. weren't there for that. They, were, they, were, they wanted, like, Shots me. and strippers and that, yeah. They, uh, they, don't, they don't want Le- a miserable Mancunian <laughs> mumbling eloquently. Liam, <laughs> Liam did. Liam. Oh, he's, oh, he's very good at language. <laughs> Liam <The> didn't. <laughs> Liam did a big bit about trying to order a clothes maiden yeah, yeah, in a I know shop a bit, yeah. in yeah. Bristol. Yeah. And, and them not understanding what it is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And they call over the manager and he goes, oh, it means a clothes rack or something like that. And he goes, oh, is that what he means? I thought he was just a retard. Yeah. And then one of the stags just says, cold as day. <laughs> she was right. <laughs> just you do look a bit. I know that's that's why right. I get such good parking spaces, but I mean, there's no need for. <laughs> you look like there should be someone always holding your hand. Yeah. There is. <laughs> uh, right. Well, this this feels like someone who might be like related to you in this next one. I fucking hell. I think you look like if a witch made a meat go. hamper a real boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I've won a Liam in a pub dance game at some yeah. point. You know the witch who cursed uh, Beauty and the Beast's castle? Yeah. <laughs> You'd have been the meat hamper. A glazed ham. I mean, I would say I've not come here to be insulted, but I you know knew that what that's not, I, knew, I knew what would happen and I still... <laughs> still came back for more. So this looks like uh, some stirs. Yeah. Could be an office block. What the fuck? What the fuck? Well, oh shit, it's Jeff Innocent. <laughs> what are you doing, mate? So oh, it's, it's a guy. You cannot be doing that. Just I love pausing. that you cannot be doing that. So, so, <laughs> so <laughs> guy. Mate, you cannot be doing that. So there's there's a guy and he's led uh, at the bottom of the stairs. Laid. And he's um, uh, he's on the car. He, he's led sort of, uh, you know, a fetal it's position, you call it? Recovery position, almost. Recovery position. And he's, for some reason, he's got his uh, undercrackers yeah. and his pants round his legs and his bum's out and his cock and balls his are out. He's out. And he's sucking on... It's what? lighter fuel. Lighter fuel? Yeah, it's, it's a, li- a bit of gas lighter fuel. Wow. You don't live here? What is he doing? What are you fucking... What are you fucking? I like the way he goes. You don't live here. Yeah, as if, if he did. Yeah, if he lived in the building, he'd be like, "Oh, sorry, mate. Yeah. You're from number. You're from number three, aren't you? I, you. <laughs> did you get my Amazon package? Just so you're aware, yeah. you. If you didn't know already, yeah. don't live here. Right. So All right. Can you sorry. do this in the hallway of your own building? Yeah. At the very least, if you're gonna lie naked on the floor, pay the ground rent. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh my god! What are you doing? <laughs> oh, he slaps <laughs> his own ass. What? Right, just pause it again. Yeah. How small is his cock? Yeah, he's got a little cock. Now, in his defence, he's on a lot of drugs. Right. He now, is. now drugs do do that to Willies, but so you know he might have it. a normal knob. But like, I think a little knob is the least of his fucking problems. To be I, honest, with I, you. I think that 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 would be a blessing. Yeah, secretly it makes it less threatening, doesn't it? If it's only a well, just willy. in terms of procreating, yeah, that might help. Yeah. This he's... might be someone's dad. <laughs> yeah, but Jesus. Yeah, I saw your dad the other day. Oh, in the pub? No, could be mine <laughs> for all we know. <laughs> <laughs> no, because if he was yours, you'd have fucked off. Yeah, no one would be able to find him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
I love his commitment though. He just does not stop. He's What's been. Your name? I didn't want to fucking smell your fingers. Wow. Can I Sounds know? like Lee Kyle, doesn't can I, it? Can I, <laughs> <laughs> on the commentary, shout out Lee Kyle. Just um, the, the, it is bad, obviously, but yeah. what offended me more was his line of questioning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah How old would. are you? What, what time do you go to bed? Yeah. Like, you don't live here. <laughs> yeah. What's, what's do you like name? my shoes? <laughs> Yeah, do you think you're getting a coherent answer at the guy wanking so on the floor, start, sucking on light fuel? Yeah, also, as well, it's like, what's your favourite Arctic Monkeys album? <laughs> <laughs> what? What is the meaning of life? <laughs> Are you sad about Diana? <laughs> what time's the buffet open? <laughs> Just like... Yeah, that guy's a maverick. Yeah, the guy filming him should shut his mouth and stop yeah. being thick. All right, fair enough. Like, I, I assumed you'd be on the side of the guy <laughs> puffing light fuel and masturbating. How did I know? That's not masturbating. Well, it was a little bit. He had a little fiddle with it, and then he just went back. I to didn't air see humping. that. Bit. He we did have watch a it again. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Got yeah, it. little. Got it up here. Look, he's having a little fiddle. He's fiddling with his cock there yeah. already. He's and look, the look how he tries to style it out. I know. He's like looking like. <laughs> He, honestly, the boy, Who, me? The Have you ever thought about calling this podcast You've Been Maimed? Yeah, we did. I did actually tweet that the other week. Oh, for fuck's Beat sake. You to it. Beat Why you did to I it. do any research? <laughs> yeah, because uh, uh, somebody, somebody on another podcast called this Toxic You've Been Framed. Yeah, big fat Rob Thomas. Like, <laughs> yeah, it was that. like, yeah, we'll take that, actually. Yeah, toxic yeah, You've toxic. Been Framed. <laughs> what are you doing, mate? I love how he... Oh, I thought it was a fag. <laughs> That's why I've got this lighter fluid. <laughs> no wonder it wasn't. Maybe my lighter isn't broken at all. <laughs> I'm trying to work out if he has a boner. I think he does from the way it wobbles. What are you doing, mate? It's hard I'm to tell because the angle it's at. It does, it does like flat back and forwards, but it's also a small cock being dragged about, so difficult to tell. I mean, he looks as well like the way he flicks his dick when he gets rid of it, when he says, What are you doing, mate? The way he flicks yeah. his dick is to say, well, I'm never going to shag it with all this noise going on. Like, yeah. it's almost like he's being fucking wronged. Yeah, but, like, he is so far out of it, he's just having a giggle. Like, he's enjoying it. Anyway. And living is... Cost living is expensive. Is it a lot? Yeah. So you've got to find your fun where you can. Yeah. And if it's at the bottom of a stairwell... Yeah. ...with your trousers down... He's not down, paying for the heating. <laughs> ...being interrogated by a moron, <laughs> then, by God... And so be it. <laughs> Do you, want to, do you want to see an incredibly tense video? What, tenser than this? That isn't tense. This is tense because you know what this podcast is. Oh, my gosh. Right, so just pause it a sec. So We don't need to pause it. It's going to be for a while. All right, okay, so this is a fairly attractive woman. Didn't need to mention that. Who is... I feel like I just did. Just objectifying her. Okay, and it's she's climbing up a climbing wall. And, like, knowing what this podcast is... She's going to a... break her face off. It's not going to end well, is it's it? It's not going to end well. What, be... Wouldn't that be amazing, though, if we just played a video where she just climbed to the top? <laughs> what, and everyone just claps? Yeah, that's the end of it. Well done, Lauren. Yeah. See you next week. <laughs> Unfortunately, though, that isn't this video. A podcast of people just achieving things. <laughs> God, that'd be dreadful, that'd wouldn't be it? would not it? <gasps> oh! 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 It goes real she, bad, doesn't she it? She jumps, she falls, and her arm just fucking disintegrates. No, I don't. No. Yeah. Just watch her arm, Liam. I, I wanna, don't want to watch her. Look oh, at, no, no, no. Look at her face. Look. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Do get a Harry Hill commentary over this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, is he just rock, falling? Oh. Rock climbing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's falling, you wallin'. That, yeah. That'd be funny. Send that in. Imagine if you got 50 quid for someone else's pain. <laughs> That's the dream, isn't it? Right. Now, we That's are, horrible, man. That's bad. That, that is bit. a bad one, yeah. All right, let's just watch the bounce again. Uh, no. Oh. The oh, sound crunch as well, it? isn't it? Because it's on a soft floor as well. Oh! <gasps> Just that one second where her arms are at a fucking 45 yeah. degree. Look like Gibral Cissé's leg. <laughs> her arm looked like a maths question about angles. Yeah. <laughs> fucking, you're going to need more than Pythagoras to work that one out. Right, we've got a fun regular feature on this. Uh, people oh, putting their dick in places their dick shouldn't be. Fantastic. Right, this is... this. I've only watched the first 10 seconds. Oh, no. Sorry, just pause it. 
that sound is never good, is it? <laughs> for a That's... video involving someone's knob, when it's you not hear, what you need. When you hear people putting their dick where it shouldn't be, and you hear the start <laughs> of a fucking aeroplane. The worst bit, though, he's got toe thumb. Yeah, he has His got an orange thumb. thumb looks like a toe. Oh, we'll show you another video with a bad thumb in a minute. But... Uh... <laughs> But, like, this guy is putting his flaccid dick into a lawnmower. Oh, my God. Right. Yeah. And, like, I've only watched the first couple of seconds, so I have no idea how this goes. Oh, jeez. He's speeding it up. Also, this is two and a half minutes long, this video. Two and a half videos of a guy fucking a lawnmower. He's getting oh, brave. my God, he's, he's getting, getting, getting fucking battered. Oh, my God. He's really speeding up. Wow, wait. That's not good, is it? Jesus. He's got good control of it, to be fair. He's not going too far yet, but... It's weird that he's not erect. It's like he's getting nothing out of this. I know, he's just getting more and more jaded. Yeah. Although you need it to be flexible in order to bounce off the blade, don't you? This is a <laughs> ground force <laughs> late night <laughs> with Alan Bitch Harsh. This is actually Charlie Dimmock. You couldn't think of a name. I couldn't think of a name. I thought of a name, Charlie Dimmock. Is That's that an actual name. name. No, but I mean like a... Never mind. Yeah, like his actual name is Alan Bitchmark. <laughs> <laughs> People used to pick on me at school. Oh, it's getting <laughs> really... not laughing now. <laughs> this is getting really bruised and raw. Look how red it is and purple. You'd think he'd be done. But no. What's the opera? Question. You must have some sort of hand control. If you have this fetish, yeah. do you work at a garden centre? Probably, yeah. You do, don't you? The, the, there is one called Not Cuts. There you go. Guys, there is a garden centre called Not Cuts. <laughs> There's irony for you. <laughs> well, it is quite a blunt blade. Like, oh, oh my god, he's really going for it. Oh, oh no. Oh, tell you what, his dick looks like a speedball in a boxing gym. <laughs> <laughs> What's that Muhammad Ali training? Oh my god! Oh, he's cutting off! That's. Oh, oh my he's god, coming. he's jizzing! He's coming! He's come! What the fuck? How? How did he come? He, did, he wasn't even erect! I don't know, but I hope that that's not like. If that's Flymo, yeah. I'll be writing in. <laughs> cut grass can't even cut a dick! It's not the advertising you want, is it? Not proof. I can't believe he jizzed. That's genuinely incredible. I mean, I think I think that was... As long as he's, he's fulfilled his objective. Well, he clearly has. You don't has. want to do that, go to all that trouble, and then not achieve what you set out to. Sure, but I assumed it'd be the sort of thing where you do that for a bit and then you have a wank. Like, so you're all excited because you put your dick in a <laughs> you're all lawnmower. Excited. Well, he is. Like you're going to Flamingo Land. <laughs> like you've just been given a puppy. I'm going to lawnmower world. <laughs> He's got to yeah. stop Port Lawnmower Museum. It's always a cue for the best boner. ones. Oh. Quick, pass me my disguise moustaches. So they don't know. I don't know why he's Where is he that. from? I don't know. It sounds racist, though. Yeah. Do you want to see the worst thumbnail we've ever had? On is, this? It, is, like, it, is it? Does it involve a dick being severed? or Not severed. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way that, that that's quality control there. Yeah. We've got one that's... We've got severed dick videos, but not this time. All right, look how bad his thumbnails are. And then... Whoop. What is that? What do you think it is? Is that worms? It's maggots. Maggots? Yeah. Has he put them in or have they grown naturally? We don't know. We don't have any more context for this, but we assume they've grown in there. I've seen really organic minging. stiltons that look, look at the like one that. that. Look at the, There's one in there. There's one in his eye? Yeah. You can see it popping out, look. I know, it's, it's very yeah. interactive. Yeah, bad thumbnails as well, isn't it? So it looks like, imagine if you were dead poor and couldn't afford Bugs Life. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just go around on Club Barry's. <laughs> yeah, kids. <laughs> Green that, innit? Just wait till the grasshoppers come. <laughs> 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 I don't know why I said you wouldn't be able to afford like people still get videos. Yeah. So, yeah. You can have an Easter egg, a video, <laughs> or Uncle Barry will show you his maggoty knob. Yeah. <laughs> got, a, got another new one here. It's a, it's a classic on an old theme. Uh, 
Is that a man sucking a prolapse? It is a man sucking a prolapse, yeah. yeah. That's horrible. Yeah. Reminds me of Ashton Market. <laughs> Why? Like the butcher's bit. You know, like in Northern Butchers, because <laughs> I've lived down south, it's all like normal meat. Yeah. And then you come home, it's like, uh, oh, we've got a good deal on esophagus. <laughs> <laughs> Put that in a pie. Uh. <laughs> and then, you know, like, there's, there's, yeah. there's the, the butcher's daughter, and she has to work the, the slicer. Like, I really don't mm. like cutting esophagus. And then you're like, we should have tried harder. Yeah. <laughs> uh, here's one of my favourites. Do you remember this one? We showed Sam Gore this one. Oh, yeah, this isn't good, this. Yeah. Is this that poo? This is uh, Toilet Festival poo. Yeah. Toilet Festival? Yeah. yeah. What, yeah. What's that? Adding some sperm <laughs> that got shot into his ass. <sighs> That's horrible. Yeah. I'll never eat a custard again. <laughs> so now they've got a bag of it. And they popped it on their head. What for though? You have to ask, like, what what are these things for? It's, I think for sexual gratification. Yeah, but a big bath in shit. <laughs> it's lovely, that isn't it? It's like Dead Sea Salt. <laughs> that's it, but she wasn't floating. Yeah. When the water floats around you, yeah. that's a problem. <laughs> I find. What are you taking pictures of? Just for the social media. I don't want to be. I think I've just taken the worst picture of you that you've ever seen. I don't know. This... <laughs> <laughs> That's on the front of my best of cassettes uh... for 95p at a car boot. <laughs> it is a fun, adventurous fella. Oh, what's he doing? What's he doing? What's he doing? Sorry, just... So this is a man uh, who's on a lawn... Uh, so he's on a deck chair... Yeah. And uh, he's on like he's on a sun lounger, one of those plastic ones you get next to the pool on. Yeah, they? and he's naked. He's got his dick, and there's two prongs. He had to move a German is towel off it before he sat head, down. <laughs> well, yeah, I think it is a car headrest. That's a car yeah. headrest Why do I feel like this is like a it's like a garden centre special? This yeah. isn't it? It, it is. is. And that's the theme well, I've gone with. Now today. that summer's on the way, why? <laughs> <laughs> this one's actually sponsored by Wix. <laughs> He's not fucking oh, the no, top of a no, car no, seat. No, no, no. Nah, 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 nah. We're, we're not... stopping it till you're looking. I don't want. It. I've not come here to watch Rodin. <laughs> yes, you have. That's what it's called. Isn't yeah, it? this is Rodin. Right here we go. Like Rowdy Rodin <laughs> Piper. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Sorry. Come on, have a little watch. Did you say loudy? Don't, Rowdy, Rodin, don't say Piper. have a little watch like you're tempting me into your van. <laughs> <laughs> come in here, have a little watch. <laughs> Just have a little watch. <laughs> Go and play it. Oh, Jesus. That's horrible. Why? Why? Oh, it's the arching of... It's... Yeah. He really needed to sort his angle out before he started. And he's got he? a nipple piercing. Of course he does. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so you don't like Rodin? Not particularly. It's not high on my list of, right. uh, you know, like, Stella and Cake. And oh. then... <laughs> then <laughs> shoving car headrests up. Do you like, like uh, are you like, are you into DIY at all? Well, like fixing stuff. Yeah, oh. like power tools and oh, that. Oh, is this... <laughs> <laughs> now I know what this is. Is this going to be an arse or a... No, it's not going to be an Fallas. arse. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the, the sound. The sound on that's too loud. It's horrible, It's not the it? volume, it's... The... <laughs> oh, no. I honestly, think, like, I honestly think the world was better before we had access to any kind of recording equipment. Yeah, probably. People would have to draw pictures of this with quills, <laughs> and it would take that long to yeah. just put them off. And they well, could... also, you'd have to do it with a hand drill at that yeah. point, wouldn't you? You'd have to crank it. Come here! Because <laughs> it would take that long. When Mars had finished the milking, she better make with a hand drill and do some riding. Like that, and that better, it, wouldn't it? Because it would take that long to draw. <laughs> at some point, somebody called like Bartholomew or something had come past and go... What what is it you're doing? <laughs> just, I'm like just, that as I'm, well. I'm just drawing a man uh, having a drill put up his penis. W why, Jeremiah? <laughs> why? Do you know what? Now you've said it, I I don't know. It's because I, my I, uncle touched me. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait for your Amish sitcom. 
<laughs> it looks a bit Amish, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. It looks like the Amish guy who ate all the corn before they could sell it. <laughs> why do I feel like... Why did you say that like it was a fable? <laughs> the <laughs> Quick, get it on the car. <laughs> <laughs> why did you say it like it was one of Aesop's fables? <laughs> the Amish man that ate the corn. <laughs> It's like, it's like that classic riddle. You've got a boat across a river, and you've got Freddy, a sack of corn, and a fox. And you've got to get them all across without Freddy eating the fox and the corn. But it's Crash Bandicoot, but it's also corn, yeah. and you rolling down hill right. <laughs> like a boulder. Do you, want to, do you want to see a video I've not seen, but has a great title? Well, what? this is the last one. Last what one, right. I've not, watched the, I've not watched this. What's so the no title? Idea. The the title is it's quite descriptive wife has her foot up his ass <laughs> imagine if it had nothing to do with that uh, let's see lad? yeah what if I say lad yeah can you put the phone is on that is a well lubed foot Cloudy, oh it's got a condom in it the phone is not clear yes yeah, clear man you know that's a man we just bought the phone yesterday sorry we just bought the phone yesterday ok I can't get the orders for the I don't know why, why is he fucking doing business on the I phone? I think is they've had, they must have added this soundtrack have separately. Front of the counter. I can't do anything. No, I'm watching right as a normal. I don't, I don't think this. I don't think the sound is anything to do with it. But that's just, I, I enjoyed it better with the sound. All right, well, I'll see. What is going past? Past you, I pick it up. <laughs> that more I do. I can't get the phone for the order. You put the phone somewhere else for I talk to me. I can't hear anything here. What do you mean, mummy? Are you clear? Up clear. Okay, you're clear. It fucking delivered on the, the title, phone, didn't it? Yes, you know? man. You're clear. <laughs> Do you know you what? Order, you <laughs> I the like. Phone or come to the counter. No, I'm one. Talk to you right now, man. What you say? I like the idea <laughs> that I, that guy's in the room. No, I like on the speakerphone. I like the idea that the guy said to his wife, "Listen, uh, I want you to put your foot up my uh, bum." And Do you think he's saying bum? She, the guy's getting fucked think, with the foot. I think they're past bum and, now. Aren't yeah. They? And she said, "I'd like you to put your foot up my butt here, like that." <laughs> nah, That'd be weird. And, no. and she said. Well, Kick I'm, me I'm, ring piece. I'm, wear, I'm wearing a condom. <laughs> Sorry, he's just he's just said kick me ring piece. Just it sounds like a Yorkshire folk song. Well, kick hey, me ring piece. What's kick me ring piece. <laughs> kick me ring piece. What's happening here? <laughs> no man, no hang up, you know. No hang up. No hang up. Okay, I can't hear your language. No, you were Indian. It does sound like you're. Oh, now he's changing angle. <laughs> no, well, pick it up now. Changing angle so we can get kicked from a different order. angle. Yeah. Lad, pepperoni, good pepper. Did you hear that? No, 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 I like that. You don't want poo toes, do you? <laughs> no, man. Come, you, you, you see, just hear me. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I mean, that was that again. Was it was less harrowing than I think the saddest one was the uh, the man at the bottom of the stairs. Yeah, He's, um, he needs some help. He I... needs a kickstart center or a sure start center. <laughs> He doesn't need to be filmed yeah. by a man asking him how old Look, he is. If he knows how to edit video, we'll take him on as an apprentice. <laughs> well, you can do Kickstart. You can get a grant yeah. to take someone on. I think that's, that was an alternative title for the last video. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to wrap up. Is they're, they're, actually just, they're actually just from an indie board games company. <laughs> 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 This episode is. I mean, I've not enjoyed it. No, <laughs> no, no sure. one no, enjoys it. No one else you really just, you it. just get through it. Yeah, we don't I mean? get a lot of repeat custom. Is there anything that you want to uh, plug or anything like that? Not to these people. No. <laughs> what you are on social media? No. <laughs> I don't use it really. No. No. I got banned. Yeah. Off Facebook for th threatening to batter someone's imaginary dad. Was it Rob's? Nice? <laughs> <laughs> peering, peering well, to you as him in the middle of the night. If you can find him, good luck. <laughs> uh, but no, thank you for the opportunity. Well, we'll plug our Patreon, won't we? Yeah. Uh, it's three quid a month. No, 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 no. Rob, Rob, Rob. Legitimately, no. He gets so angry when I play. Because I'm not. Over it. I'm not joking. <laughs> I know he's not. I keep forgetting to mention this off pod. 
but we need to plug these in a serious way. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, no, so, no, you're right, stop. you're right, you're right, you're no, right. he's going to be a dickhead. I'm watch not. him, watch him, oh, watch him. So, <laughs> the temptation's fucking killing him. Uh, it's uh, patreon.com for... Oh, fuck. He's God. such a knobhead. <laughs> that was very... Not, I'm not doing it. Right, Do you want I'm... me to plug it for you? Yeah, yeah go, go on, on, then. Give him three quid. Yeah. And there's... <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to help you. I don't care. Is that a poo? No, it's a... So- uh, well, it's, fr- it's from a video of a woman shoving an enormous dildo up her ass. That's the noise her bum makes afterwards. Right. <sighs> So join our Patreon, get on our Discord, send in more videos to 07520-644-931. It's 07520-644-931 on uh, WhatsApp. Send us gross stuff, weird stuff, send us freaks and weirdos. You know, whatever you've got, we'll have it. We'll see you next week. Thank you for listening. Fuck Fuck off. off.